Welcome to our 8th annual award show where we focus on the highlights and the lowlights of the year. Here's how it works. I make four nominations and then I put it up to a vote and ultimately my audience will decide across three platforms, Patreon, YouTube, and Twitter, what is the highlight and or lowlight of the year. This time we're talking about the WTF moment of the year. The moment that was either horrifying, shocking, or just left you speechless. So I have four nominees. First and foremost, Russia's invasion of Ukraine. I mean, if this isn't WTF worthy, then nothing is. When we first got reports about Russia invading Ukraine, I didn't believe it because it was so outrageous. But when it happened, it felt like I was living in the twilight zone and everyone just kind of watched in horror as things began to deteriorate. And to make matters worse, Vladimir Putin almost immediately began to threaten nuclear war in the event anyone intervened. And it just made it seem like humanity was doomed because you have this one madman who could, on a whim, choose to unilaterally end all life on Earth by provoking a nuclear war. So the entire situation was WTF worthy. And I had to put it here. Second, of course, is Roe v. Wade being overturned. Last year, we knew that this would be a possibility. But still, even if we anticipated it, seeing it happen was genuinely shocking. We're living through a major historical moment. And for the first time in all of our lives, the Supreme Court is taking away a fundamental civil right. And you just, you can't really begin to even grasp how damaging this was. We focused on some anecdotes and the way that this impacted women across the country in these states that banned Roe almost immediately. But this is still happening. Even if people aren't focusing on this as much, it is still having a drastic impact on the lives of women. Having to go across the country to secure bodily autonomy that they once had. And just to think about the fact that Women today have less rights than their mothers and their grandmothers is truly just WTF worthy. Next was the Uvalde police response to the Robb Elementary school shooting. As if the details surrounding that massacre weren't disgusting and nightmarish in and of itself, you have the response by Uvalde police, or should I say lack thereof, where they not only didn't act, but they blocked parents who wanted to rush in and save their children. I just, I can't even begin to imagine what was going through the minds of these parents, how horrible they must have felt. So, of course, I had to nominate the Uvalde police response. And finally, well, we have Kanye West going full Nazi. He's been saying terrible, problematic things, but it genuinely is shocking to see someone in the year 2022, the year of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, just straight up say that he's a Nazi and he loves Hitler. Fascism is regaining prominence, not just in the United States, but across the world. But usually when we see fascists talk about their terrible beliefs, they use coded words, dog whistles. They skirt around what they're really thinking. But Kanye West, he said the quiet part loud. And that to me is shocking, not just because of what he said, but because of who he was, how far he's fallen. I mean, this was an individual who in my teenage years was an icon to me. He was a hero. I listened to his music. I grew up on his music. And to see him turn into a full-blown Nazi, it's genuinely shocking and WTF worthy. But without further ado, let's get to the results, folks. So the winner this year of our WTF moment is the Supreme Court overturning Roe versus Wade with Russia's invasion of Ukraine being the runner up. Now, Uvalde was a close third, with Patreon and Twitter audiences actually ranking that as their most WTF moment, though the sheer number of YouTube votes made up the difference. So let's get to some comments here. Six Scar writes, all of them, to be honest, it was truly a crazy year. Rosa Evie says, if you asked me in 2021 which of these is least likely to happen, I easily would have said the Russian invasion, Uvalde and Roe I didn't expect but weren't shocking, and Kanye honestly did already expect by then. 
Tim Hoffman says, this is actually incredibly hard. Kanye going full Nazi definitely doesn't match the other three in terms of overall impact, but it's still reprehensible. Totally agree. Thomas Aachen says, I have to remind myself that the question is most WTF, not most horrible. And on the WTF front, hundreds of cops standing around doing nothing about a school shooting wins by a mile. Virginia Russell says, still waiting for the above all choice. All of the above. Booty Spoon adds, I didn't even realize till just now these all happened in the same year. Fuck, right? Kevin Michael adds, the biggest WTF moment for me was when Biden didn't side with real workers. But that being said, there was a lot of shocking things this year. Bill writes, gotta give it to Ye. Maybe it's because it's so fresh in everyone's mind, but he's gone completely mental. The Uvalde response is definitely an extremely close second place. Viper Veteran says, I'm not an American, so I'm not desensitized to school shootings yet, and I know the American police and government are racist and corrupt, but WTF. They literally showed the fundamental problem of Blue Lives Matter. They're supposed to be willing to put their lives on the line. Absolutely. So there you have it, folks. In an insane year with so many deranged, shocking, and downright crazy things happening, the most WTF moment of the year is Roe v. Wade being overturned.